hello friends welcome back to tech and talk so today we will talk about creating blog engine yeah the blog a full CMS for different languages so for this idea I have initiated a brand new project I called it you blog so the idea here is the languages which I have experience through or throughout my career each for each language I will create a separate repository right so as you can see I have you blog project and I have linked my one of my repo which is sp.net core and blog so first thing we are going to create is sp.net core blog and after that we will move to next language maybe php uh, node or java uh, we'll decide later so i also have initiated the sprint core blog repo uh, you are open to join clone you can contribute and i will start working on this um, right now so let me create Visual Studio Visual Studio Okay, I have 2009 2019 so let me open it and yeah so what I will do is I will create a new project right and that will be a that will be a core sp.net core project so for that reason where it is let me find it asp let me search for core so i think that is .NET Core Web Application Second one is .NET Web Application Framework Web Application So what is the difference between this and the upper one? Mm -hmm. What if I create project I am thinking about getting us empty solution yeah blank solution okay let's create a blank solution first and we will add our applications in that solution later so let me go next and let me give it a very good name that would be dot net core Block. All right. Yeah, that's right. Let me choose a location, a good location for this one. I'm going to go to learning and inside this. I will go to sp.net core and inside that one so why not we create a folder with the name of our project which, which will be the u blog and inside it we will create a new folder let's call it asp.net core blog right and let me look is this as well okay i have choose my location and i will press create so it has created an empty solution for me and if i can see that location i will be shown 
what will be i show you blog yeah you can see right here uh, i have a sp.net code blog and inside it we have a very nice solution file okay so let me minimize this one and let us create so uh, uh, for the structure point of view i am very you know um, very interested in creating separate layer for different aspects of our project so that uh, let's say one aspect is the presentation one aspect is our infrastructure one aspect is our domain so let us create an solution folder and let's create let's name it presentation right so inside this presentation we will add a new project and then it will be over ASP core. Okay, so we have ASP net web application for .NET framework. We will not use this template. We will use template which has ASP .NET core web application, right? And Project template for creating API Windows Linux on and create web uh, browser pages. And what if we see the template below? It's saying that project template for creating web app and web API for Windows. Okay, the extra tags I can see is the cloud and service, right? so uh, let's pick this one we'll see how these options are available although if you have created a simple asp.net core application you can configure as many as services or middleware as you can so let's pick the first one and go for the creation and for for the name point of view let me name it like you blog right yeah would be appropriate name you blog okay and for the location point of view where is the location oh let me go back and create a proper folder for presentation so uh, why i have created this presentation folder as you know that if we create a solution folder here that is a logical separation you need to map it to physical folder here in your uh, drive so i have created explicitly and i moved in that present presentation folder now you can see our web app will be created inside that presentation folder and let me click create and now it's asking me about what kind of application you want to create an empty an api a web app web application for view model view controller mvc so what you guys think about this let us create a one for web application so that we have proper folder for controller views and models and let's go for it if we create an empty project template for creating a .NET Core application does not have any content in it, okay, that's fine. We will manage 
let's create the empty one we will manage our own you know presentation and middleware services we will add as soon as we need them all right okay so it's showing us um, pretty nice small web application and it's currently downloading i think so downloading restoring or packages now it's restored let me quickly rebuild it all right let me have a sip of tea okay so if we run this by hitting control f5 we should see pretty nice empty page with the hello world okay it means that project has been created successfully with that default template and if you guys can see the program.cs file it's pretty simple and empty as well as our startup so we are taking our our response and writing hello world in response for our base ui uri requests so if i can write something like um, so i'll see nothing right so it will just only respond to the slash which makes this as default route or the index of this web application so that's pretty it for today uh, we have pretty nice solution project we have created a web application inside presentation so this will be over you know publishable or startup project which will be our blog and with the passage of time we will enhance this solution as soon as i get more and more time i will try to create different layers in this solution which will support this blog application to you know uh, there will be many aspects to create a project to create the domain entities so uh, if i talk technically then we will going to create the no um, onion architecture and this will be for main driven design where our domain entities will be the central point of this application and on the top of domain entities we will have the repo then we will have business layer along with the infrastructure layer and at the outmost we will have our presentation layer currently we are using only web app for the presentation so mm, this is how we will create this project and uh, that's it guys for today we'll see you soon hopefully you have enjoyed uh, this creation of solution and this this is just a beginning we are using asp.net core 3.0 the latest release for asp.net core and hopefully we will have an awesome time together